<coughs> oh, hey guys. Um, I'm going to do a quick review of my MAC brushes that I bought today um, at my local CCO. I got them. It was a holiday brush, um, bleh, brush special edition set. It was, um, it just says Color Forms 5 Advanced Brushes with a bag and a brush holder. So, um, this sold for $50 when it came out. Not sure if it was a couple months ago or if it was another year. Not sure. It's just the one where it's like the shiny green and the dull green. Yeah. Um, I, it says, it says I paid Thirty-four seventy-five for it, but um, it said thirty-three fifty on it, like on the little sticker. It sold for fifty dollars when it came out. Um, first thing is, it came with a little um, Mac makeup bag. It has the Mac Mac symbol. You can't really read it, but it's really it's not a good bag. I mean, it's a I don't know, it's a makeup bag. It's not it's very flimsy. It's not very well made, but still. And then the next thing is, is it comes with a, a the brush holder, which is so friggin' neat. It's like this, and it has the Mac um, and it makeup makeup art cosmetic in metal, shiny metal. Um, it's magnetic. And then you open it up, and it's got like the little brush thing. That was really nice. I love this. And bum bum bum, the five brushes. Okay, five brushes, ten bucks each. These brushes sell for way more than the set cost. Okay, like the full size handles. Um, this is the 219. It's the pencil brush and um, with white hair. I'm um, getting goat, maybe? Yeah, I think it's white goat hair. It's very stiff. I don't really like this one. Um, the next one I have is the 212. These are all SE. They're written in green writing. It has a black, the black ferrule and the black handle, and it's made in China. It's not handmade like the full size. This is the 212, and it is like a stiff eyeliner brush that's like that. It's very nice. I really like it. The next one I have is the 275 SE. It's the angled shader brush. Um, I know that Makeup, Makeup by Tiffany D um, used this, I believe, a Sigma brush of this. It's the Sigma... Um, Sigma brush set and it had the 275 in it and she used it for a Nehru on the outer corner and then like shaded it in for a smoky eye. You could use, it's like long enough, you could use this for like your crease or just for like all of her shading or pretty much anything. This is, a, this is like one of my favorite brushes out of the set. The next one I got is a face brush. It is a 168. It is the, it's a white goat haired, um, angled, um, brush, I'm guessing it's, it would be for, like, contouring, like, right here, like, um, contouring, or I guess you can use it for blush, but I guess it's preference, um, it's a really nice brush, it's not one of my favorites, but favorite brush. Here it is, and everybody knows what it is. Everybody knows. It's the 187. Yup. It comes in this set, and just so you know, <coughs> this brush, with when it comes like not in this, when it's not in the set, and it's full handle, forty-two dollars. The only difference is this one is made by machine. The others are made by hand. Um, so this one's more likely to shed a bit, um, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, it is, I cannot tell you how soft it is, like these duo fibers, like the, um, that part, like the, um, 
synthetic part is so soft and you just like tap it into your like foundation and then you kind of like um, stipple it on and then kind of swirl it. It's fantastic. It's a very nice brush. These are so nicely made. And I only paid $34 for this. So I got five different brushes. I believe the smaller ones are about about 17 to 22 dollars each depending on which one you get not sure about the 168 187 is um, 42 dollars if it's long like if it's not the special edition if it's like the regular kind and um but i'm so pleased with this like some people say that oh they're not handmade they're gonna shed more they're gonna bleed more when they're washed They've got, I would much rather spend $42 on a long handle. Okay. But, just saying, the, the handles of these brushes, compared to my hand, are pretty big. I'm not going to need a gigantic handle to put on my foundation with a 187. This is perfectly fine for my hand, even if I held it like that. You know? So, I'm, it's perfect for me. Especially the eyeshadow brushes. These are huge, so I mean, it doesn't matter. You don't need full size of like handles for this. Um, these are a great investment. If you go to, if you have a CCO, I say go and try to find the brush sets. The brush sets were really weird. They were like on the ground, so I mean, you pretty much gotta get down there and look for them. But um, great investment. If you have one, CCO, go, go. These brushes are amazing. Um, I don't like the goat hair, um, the 219, I really don't like it, um, I have a several just like it, like Essence of Beauty, the crease brush, um, set, pretty much exactly the same, except softer, um, my favorites, 275, and the 187, and then my next favorite would probably be the 168, and then the 212, then the 219. But, um, definitely go check that out. That was only $33. I got five brushes, a, the brush holder, and the makeup bag. Great deal. Love these brushes. MAC is definitely worth it. <laughs> Bye, guys.